Happy New Year, friends! I hope you had a wonderful holiday. My family visited my mom's place and all of my relatives got together and enjoyed osechi, which is a New Year special meal in Japan. After the amazing, delicious feast, our body might need a little bit of break, right? If you are looking for wholesome and filling meal ideas, today's video is for you. We're gonna make Japanese tea infused rice together with black sesame miso soup. We are starting off with the tea infused rice. First, we brew our tea. The tea we are opting for today is a hojicha tea. Compared to green tea, it's less bitter and has a characteristic toasty note to it. If you're just venturing into the world of Japanese tea, I highly recommend trying this hojicha tea. You could use green tea, but please note that it's going to be more bitter in taste. Next, I have one cup of Japanese sushi rice. Rinse and drain the water a couple of times until the water becomes milky white. Soak the rice in water for one hour. In the meantime, we're gonna prepare black sesame miso soup. To a pot, soak kombu in water at least 30 minutes. Chop all the vegetables into small bite-sized pieces. I have carrots, onions, sweet potatoes, shiitake mushrooms, and Chinese cabbage. Like I always say, miso soup is very forgiving, so please add whatever is sitting in your fridge. My family personally prefer root vegetables such as kabocha squash and onion just because it gives this natural sweetness to the soup. I keep the sweet potatoes a little bigger than others so that it will hold the shape by the time everything else is cooked. Coming back to kombu, it's hydrated and expanded water double. At this point, pile up all the vegetable we chopped. I usually place the harder one at the bottom. It looks like not enough liquid, but the vegetables start to release their liquid with the flavor, so I like to keep it minimal at this stage, otherwise the miso soup would be too diluted and end up lacking in flavor. Bring it to the stove, start cooking on high. Once you start to see the small bubbles around the edge of the pot, when it just before completely boiling, remove the kombu from the pot. I have a recipe using this used kombu, so let me leave the link for you in the description box below. Close the lid and cook it over mid heat until the vegetables are fully cooked through. Now the rice is ready to cook off. Drain the water and let the liquid drip off as much as you can. Transfer to the pot. I use a clay pot or a big heavy bottom pot like this so that the heat will evenly distribute it. By the way, how to cook Japanese sushi rice will be listed in my Japanese breakfast cookbook. Also, if you make any of the recipe from the book, please tag me on Instagram at Miwa Japanese Cooking Class. I always enjoy your creations. Add 1 cup of room temperature hojicha tea. Bring it to the stove, cook it on high. Once it comes to a boil, reduce the heat to low and close the lid. Cook it on small heat for 10 minutes. You don't want to open the lid from now on to keep the steam inside. After 10 minutes, bring the heat to high and cook it for 10 seconds to evaporate the excess moisture accumulating at the bottom. Turn off the heat and steam it for another 15 minutes with the lid on. We still have a very important and fun preparation for miso soup that is grounding black sesame seeds. Mine is already toasted. In my opinion, toasting gives a major impact on the final taste. If yours is not toasted, letting them toast in the pan over medium heat for a couple of minutes does the trick, so try it. Black sesame seed has antioxidant effects, so not only contribute to the flavor, but also good for us. I love the aroma and this repetitive moment is kinda therapeutic to me. I might be a weird one. <laughs> Let's check on the soup. 
looks like we need to add more liquid so adding more water until everything is just submerged now all the vegetables are nice and cooked if the chopstick goes through without any resistance it should be ready the exact measurement is listed on my blog the link is in the description box then finally add black sesame seeds I know it's not appetizing at all. My husband is telling me who wants a black soup like this. Well, I do. You can always control how much black sesame seeds you want to add. I added about two tablespoons cause I want the sesame flavor to shine through rather than just tasting the miso paste. But this is totally up to you. Ooh. <laughs> For the rice, I want to add something crunchy. I have a turnip. Do you guys have this type of turnip? If not, cucumber or anything crunchy would work. Mince the leaves and sprinkle some salt, then massage until it's sweat. This small step will retain the color and texture. Leave it for 5 minutes and squeeze the liquid. Our rice should be done at this point. We can really smell the hojuja tea. <sighs> you may be wondering what it tastes like. You can taste a hint of toasty nutty aroma of hojuja tea, but you don't taste the bitterness as opposed to how it looks. So don't be so intimidated. <laughs> Mix turnip leaves into the rice, combine all together. Because tea infused rice and black sesame miso soup is very mild and gentle in taste, I'd like to introduce you to something tangy and savory as a side dish. We're gonna quickly whip up eggplant salad. I have Asian eggplant, trim off the top and cut in half lengthwise. Flat side down, cut in half, and again cut in third lengthwise. The goal here is to cut everything about the same size as my thumb. You could use a bigger eggplants like you normally find in the western countries. Those kinds tend to be more bitter so try to pick a smaller one or if it's too bitter, soak the eggplants into the salted bath to remove the bitter compounds. I wrote the detailed direction on my blog leaving the link in the description box for you. Place them into the microwave safe container. For the onion, we're gonna use just a half of it. Thinly slice and pile it on top of the eggplant. Drizzle some oil. Here I'm using brown rice oil, but use any neutral oil you have on hand. Dig in your hand and toss it to coat. When everything is fully coated with the oil, into the microwave it goes for about 5 minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna make some marinade. To the container, add 1 teaspoon of sugar, 1 tablespoon of rice vinegar, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, pinch of salt, plus grated garlic or ginger. I tried both and they came out beautifully. Whisk that together. Take out the eggplants from the microwave and transfer to the marinade when it's still hot. Make sure the eggplant is fully cooked and wilted as you lifted it with the chopstick. Eggplant is gonna soak up all the flavor of marinade and the juice is gonna burst in your mouth when you bite into. It's so delicious. If you like spicy as much as I do, add chili flakes to your liking. Keep it in a fridge for at least an hour or possibly overnight. This will last 4 days in the fridge, make a batch and enjoy throughout the week. I keep it very mild in taste so feel free to add more vinegar or soy sauce to your liking. Scoop generous amount of rice with the crunchy turnip leaves together with this nourishing black sesame miso soup. It's black, <laughs> I admit. But not as bad as how it looks. Just think about it, miso paste plus sesame seeds is a winning combination in my book. Some people ask me if I ever ate junk food. 
and of course yes <laughs> i tend to introduce wholesome recipes on this channel but in reality i do enjoy both always following my cravings and appetite i tend to overeat in the holiday season or winter in general so oftentimes i take a pause and let my stomach rest with these simple meals as i get older i crave more of these wholesome light meals but my kids prefer something more intelligent hearty and rich so i always experimenting with the recipes we all can enjoy most of the times it's hit or miss <laughs> I assembled all of my family favorites into my e-cookbook. If you're looking for more meal ideas, please take a look at e-cookbook and let me know what you cook in your kitchen by tagging me on Instagram at Miwa Japanese Cooking Class. I'm always curious how you guys spent the New Year's in your country. So please share in the comment section and talk to you there. Thanks a lot for watching and 今年もよろしくお願いします。またね、バイバイ。